spokesperson Matthew Miller in response to a question from Press Express in the U.S. Department of State's regular press briefing said, In light of the Home Ministry of Bangladesh embargo on prosecution individuals involved in the action during the anti-Hasina movement up to August 8th, and reports that between August 5th after Sheikh Hasina departure and August 8th over 3,000 police officers were killed. More than 400 police station abolished and many Awamili members targeted by organized protesters under coordinated plan described as by Dr. Muhammad Yunus. Will the U.S. administration urge the Bangladesh government to ensure justice for all victims irrespective of political affiliation? We have made clear that um, there's no excuse for violence either conducted against those conducting peaceful protests or conducted uh, by those protesting. Uh, and anyone that's responsible for violence should be held accountable. And there are reports that followers of the outlet Hizb ut Tahir and Jamaat Islami sang Islamic song and even forced to recitation of Quranic verses on the Durga Puja goddess stage during Bangladeshi largest Hindu festival. How does the US administration view this incident and will it engage with Bangladesh government to ensure the protection of religious freedom and the rights of minority communities in Bangladesh and around? Uh, obviously we are committed to religious freedom in Bangladesh and elsewhere with regards to that specific incident. I'll take it back. Do you think